Well, a horrifying story out of the Antelope Valley. Cheryl Gatuiza has more about a mother that tried to kill her two children, actually did kill her, tried to kill her two children, and then herself. This is how neighbors and friends know Lynn Benedetto, a loving, caring, stay-at-home mom. But this is how sheriff's deputies know her. She's now behind bars for trying to kill her 11 and 14-year-old daughters, then herself. Very, very nice people. This is very uh, out of left field for us. Abel Fernandez lives across the street from the Benedetto family. Friday night around 5.30, he saw a swarm of deputies surround his neighborhood in the 41,000 block of River Rock Lane. Officers, gun drawn, about eight police cars and a helicopter. When they seemed to be going through the house and they were, they were here most of the evening. There was a note and there was a lot of blood in the house. Detectives say the 47-year-old mom thought the world was coming to an end. And with recent events in Japan and the turmoil in the Middle East, Benedetto didn't want her daughters to go through it. So she took a box cutter and paring knife, slit her daughter's throats and wrists, then did the same thing to herself. You can see her wounds in her mugshot. Detectives say Benedetto drove her daughters and herself to this home in Lancaster. It's a friend's house. She opened up the garage, wrapped her daughters in some blankets. This is where all three of them were going to die. But detectives say her plans were spoiled when her friend showed up to the home unexpectedly early. He immediately called 911. There was two ambulances that showed up basically simultaneously. I just heard that one of the sheriff uh, sergeants tell the ambulance driver that there was one in the house and one outside. The first one that came out appeared to be probably the older of the two, and she had bandages on the side of her neck. And in the second one, I really couldn't see any bandages. The girls were treated at a local hospital. Late tonight, we spoke with Andrew Benedetto, father and husband. He says the girls are doing okay. They have a lot of support from family and friends. In the meantime, their mother remains behind bars on $1 million bail. Cheryl Gatwiza, KTLA 5 News.